math and science. In this video, let's rewrite 2.5 as a fraction. So let's get started. I have 2.5 and I'm going to start by writing it over 1 and creating a fraction. Now what I want to do is get rid of the decimal by multiplying it by a number to where the decimal is moved to the far right. And I know this is 1's, I need to get it to the 10's, so I'm going to multiply it by 10. And I'm going to do the same to the bottom of the fraction. So when I multiply straight across, 2.5 times 10 is 25, and 1 times 10 is 10. So now what I can do is I need to reduce the fraction, okay? And I can do this by dividing by a greatest common factor. Let's find the greatest common factor for 25 and 10, and I like to use a factor tree. Now we have 5 times 5 is 25. Circle both of these because they're prime, and 5 times 2 equals 10, and they're both prime. Now I'm going to write a little chart, okay? Here's your chart. I'm going to write the prime numbers of 25, which are 5 and 5, and the prime numbers of 10, which are 5. I'm going to skip a space here, and 2. Now, to find the greatest common factor, you need to find pairs. And I only have one pair, a vertical pair, and that is 5. So the greatest common factor of 25 and 10 is 5. So now, let's go back to the original fraction that we found here, and that is 25 divided by 5 equals 5, and 10 divided by 5 equals 2, okay? So now I have 5 halves, or 5 over 2. I now can further simplify that into an improper fraction by dividing 2 into 5, and 2 goes into 5 2 times, with one left over, so it becomes two and a half, okay? So let me rewrite this completely here at the bottom, so it's not completely messy. 2.5 equals five over two, or two and a half. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.